Hello everyone, welcome to Abandoned Minds of Pennsylvania. Uh, I want to start doing some videos on some of the things we discuss on the page, and tonight I figured we'd start with permissible mine safety lamps. Permissible mine safety lamps are used to detect both oxygen deficient and explosive atmospheres caused by methane in mines. Permissible mine safety lamps were replacements for the canary cage, so a miner no longer had to take canary in the coal mine. Uh, basic principle of these is you have a base that would contain your fuel, which in this case is naphtha or white gas. You have a wick in the center and then your igniter. The flame was contained inside the lamp by sets of metal gauze. These metal gauze is a fine metal mesh that act like a heat sink. And should a miner encounter an explosive atmosphere, it dissipates the heat of the flame front so the flame doesn't exit the lamp and cause an explosion in the mine. Uh, this particular one is a Kohler 209. Um, they're marked with graduated lines. Your middle line is normal operation. If your flame drops low, you know you're in an oxygen deficient atmosphere. If your flame raises up, you know you're in a methane or explosive atmosphere. Uh, at that point, the miner would leave the area until ventilation could be rerouted or the atmosphere dissipated. Uh, we can demonstrate an explosive atmosphere by applying gas to this lamp here. You can watch the flame pop like that. And if a miner saw that, he knew there was methane or if it blew completely out. Um, also, if there was a subtle rise in the flame, uh, that would be another good, good indication that, that the atmosphere was unsafe. Uh, we'll go over in another video uh, some of the different styles of, of lamps that were out there and the development of them. But I just wanted to get this out as a kind of a quick feeler video. Uh, I appreciate everyone for liking and following the page uh, and sticking with us for the past few years. Uh, this year I'm hoping to put out a lot more videos like this, maybe go underground and, and show a few, few different things down there as well. Uh, again, thank you everybody. Uh, I'll take questions down in the comments section and try to answer them the best we can. Thank you.